Hello, and welcome to Generation Gaming UK. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a great little game called Moonlighter. Before we get started, if you enjoy this video, please drop a like and subscribe. Moonlighter is a single player action RPG slash dungeon crawler. It's developed by Digital Sun and published by 8-Bit Studios in May 2018. You can get it on pretty much every platform, such as Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Microsoft Windows, Linux, and for Mac. You play as Will, a small town merchant that dreams of being a hero. During the day you own a little shop, but at night you brave the dungeons just outside of town, slaying monsters and keeping what treasures you find. There are five dungeons in total, They're all split into three levels, with a boss battle on each one. Since I mentioned the dungeons already, I might as well start with the combat. Movement and combat feels very smooth, allowing you to dodge and attack as if you've done it for years. Combat varies depending on your weapon. For example, a spear allows you to charge in at multiple enemies, sword and shield lets you block, and a big sword gives you the ability to spin around and hit multiple enemies at once. The other aspect of dungeon crawling is the inventory management. Normally this is a hassle, yet Moonlighter turns this usually frustrating and messy activity into a well-mode puzzle game with a unique mechanic. And this mechanic is cursed items. These are things that you'll pick up for usually find in chests that have some kind of effect on them, sometimes negative, sometimes positive, and sometimes they're neutral. Bad curses can come in the form of items that break after taking too much damage. On the other hand, it could also be an item that will break another item that is next to it on returning to town. Good curses can sometimes teleport stacks of items back to the shop, freeing up important inventory space. Others can actually get rid of a negative cursed item if placed next to it. And finally, the neutral curses. These can be either good or bad depending on what item they affect. For example, you could have an item which sells for quite a high price that will turn something very cheap and a bit of junk into that same item, allowing you to have more money. On the flip side, you could not see the curse, accidentally put this in your inventory and inadvertently turn something very expensive and profitable into a complete piece of junk. It's all about shifting things around, getting rid of curses that you want, scrapping things that you don't really want, and using every single curse you have to your advantage wherever possible. While in the dungeons, although death can be very annoying, it's not the end of the world. You only ever lose what's in your backpack, the things that you have on your person and at the top of your inventory remain on you at all times. So if you have found something that you really want to keep, always keep it right at the top of your inventory. When you die, you're given two options. Either return to the beginning of the dungeon and start all over again, or return back to town with the items that you have and sell what you can. Now let's have a chat about the other side of Moonlighter, the shop and the town. The items you bring back can be placed in your shop at whatever price you like. But depending on what it is, your customers may be very happy or very upset when coming in to buy it. Checking the items you've previously sold against your journal helps you determine the best price for each item. If you were to sell it too expensive, people either wouldn't buy it or would reluctantly buy it and not be happy with the service. On the flip side of that, they might buy it very cheaply, but you end up having a loss. Adding to the seller mechanic, if you happen to have a lot of an item and flood the market with it, it will actually lose value. Some customers have specific needs that will show up in the sign of some sort of speech bubble or thought bubble as they enter the shop. Some people want armor and weapons, some people are after a high value item, and some just want to steal from you. Buying a bigger shop lets you sell more items and draws more customers, while developing the town lets you upgrade your kit and prepare for bigger expeditions. The town itself is pretty empty to start with, but the more you put into it, the more you get back, as shops bring people and people bring money. I find the graphics and animation to be very pleasing, and the music is charming and adds to the atmosphere whether you are in the depths of a dungeon or safe at home. I'm only a few hours in, and not long got into the second dungeon, so I've only scratched the surface. But I feel this game has a good story to tell, and it's done without being too text heavy at all. Moonlighter feels like I'm playing a shop owner in an old Zelda game. It's wonderful and always leaves me saying just one more dungeon. Having said that, I think it's time for another go. 
thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and I'll see you next time.